Hey y'all, Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this video to answer a question that a lot of people ask me and the places where I collect my pallets and everything, you know, they've asked. Does the work involved in processing the pallet wood justify uh, doing it this way rather than going to the store and buying wood. And what I have to say is it depends on what you're doing with the wood. Uh, it's, it's like all the projects I've done, I've made a lot of things. You know, I, showed, I did a video a while back showing some of the different projects I've done and sold. And some of the stuff you know, that people have told me they wanted, they paid me to build, you know. So, yeah, it's, you go out and try to buy some of this wood, this, this dimensioned lumber, and it can be really expensive. I primarily work with the hardwoods that I find on these pallets. I don't do a lot with the pine, but I've got oak, uh, cherry, ash, <laughs> uh, walnut, just amazing. Uh, some of the woods I've found on these pallets. And I got that pallet tool that I break them apart with because I try to maximize the amount of wood I get off of each skid rather than just taking a saw and running down the runners and just having the little slats in between all of the runners. I prefer to use all of the wood, have it available to me. So, there are two ways of presenting this wood. You can either leave it rough and uh, rustic looking, you know, just untouched. Pull the nails out, cut it, and use it and leave it like that or you can smooth it all out plane it and sand it and it you know it's the same wood you would go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy um, except a whole lot less expensive than what you're going to pay for like uh, red oak or cherry so yes it does you know not only that it helps the uh, they keep, you know, this stuff out of landfills and, and piling up all over the city and rotting, you know, out in fields and stuff. So, yeah, there's a, a another aspect to collecting these and recycling all this stuff. And what I can't use, I can burn. So, it's, to me, it's a win-win situation. And I'm going to show you one of the things I use that I really like. Uh, I'll, I'm going to go over this tool and then I'll show you, you know, what I get from it. This is the DeWalt uh, electric hand planer. It's the D26676. What those numbers mean, I have no idea. <laughs> but this is an electric hand planer, two blades, and it does one hell of a job i have used this and used it um it's adjustable in increments of a sixteenth of an inch you can take off a lot of wood at one time if you want um it's very easy to use i don't have a problem with it i can't afford to go out right now and buy a thickness joint or planer I would love to have one, but that's, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars that I just can't go out and spend right now. I'd love to have a joiner, but that's another three, four, five hundred dollars that, you know, I can't go out and spend. This will work for what I do. I'm not making panels. I'm not trying to glue all these sides together and plain all that and every board has to be the exact same thickness and all this I'm just trying to clean up this wood and this does the trick so I'm gonna put a, a little video in here right now that I did using this 
and showing you how this works and how efficient it is at removing the dirt and the roughness. All this pallet wood is rough cut stuff. And I'm telling you, when this thing is done with it, it takes very little sanding to finish up the boards. Um, you can do these boards with sandpaper, but I'm going to tell you, you'll go through a lot of sandpaper cleaning that stuff up. Uh, it just gums up your sandpaper. So by taking all that off with this planer, uh, before you sand it, saves a lot of time. So watch this video on how this thing works, and then I'll talk a little bit more and show you examples of what it does afterwards. you enjoyed that uh, you can see how easy that tool is to use so I recommend it. there are other kinds out there there's battery operated ones but that one works great for me I'm happy I got it and what I was talking about is all of this stuff that you can remove you can see hopefully how rough this wood is and splintery you don't want to run your hands or your fingers up and down it <laughs> because it, you know, and if you're doing a project that's, uh, you know, a yard witching well type thing or something that's going to be out, you know, planters, uh, it's okay to leave it like this. It's That's not a problem at all. Um, if I'm doing a project that's going to be hanging on the wall or you know, something like a piece of furniture, I don't want it like this. I want it to be a lot smoother than this. And like I said, with the 
uh, sandpaper. You know, I can sand it down smooth, but it's going to take a lot of sandpaper. And the results, the reason why it's worth doing that, you know, that wood, you can see it's good wood. I mean, it's definitely oak. So, after the planer and before it's sanded, this is what it comes up with. These are some scrap left over. Uh, but you can see how smooth that is, even over the, the, I mean, that I love. I love that character there. But it's all nice and smooth. Same as this right here. Look at the grain. Uh, and you take this and stain it. It still has the nail holes. But it's just, it's gorgeous wood. And, you know, the thickness planer, I, you know, this will sand off. This is where I made one pass. Made another pass, came over this side. Obviously, I didn't do equal passes on each side. So, I've got a little bit of a line there. But just a tiny bit of sanding smooths all that out. And like I said, I'm not trying to make panels. It's not going to be, you know, that critical. Otherwise, you know, the thickness planer would make every board exactly 7 16 of an inch thick. This, there may be a 30 second difference in this slat and the next slat that I use. But that has never been a problem in the work that I do. Uh, here's some more that has gone through that planer. And you can see that's going to be really pretty once that's stained. And it's very easy to use. Here's a piece of the oak that I did. Now it's still a little rough there because I didn't finish it. But see how smooth all that is now? And all that grain. Beautiful stuff. So yeah, to me it's worth collecting the pallets to get this. These boards, these are like one by sixes. Oh, a little smaller than one by sixes. Uh, not much. But a 36 inch piece, one by six, of red oak at Lowe's or Home Depot is around $9. All of these slats that I have that I'm going to be working with are uh, 43 inches long. And I have a ton of them out in the barn. This is just stuff I got in the last couple of weeks that I'm just trying to knock down. I have a few projects to do. But that hand planer is going to do great. And until I can afford to get a thickness planer, it works perfect. So yeah, you don't have to have, if you're thinking you got to have all these big expensive tools in a shop, you know, I really don't have a place for, a, you know, the planer and the joiner and all that kind of stuff. I don't have a shop. But it doesn't stop me from being able to do the same work that anybody else can do. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, it's worth it. And when you get this kind of stuff out of it, it's just so pretty. I love this wood. But I wanted to show off this tool. Uh has a little kickstand on it so it doesn't rest on the uh, blades. And it puts out some, some of sawdust and shavings too. I mean a lot of it. So if you use sawdust or wood shavings, here you go. Do a bunch of pallet wood. You'll have tons of it. But, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm going to get back to work here. Cleaning up some more of them. This is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. Remember, you know, like this, comment, share, subscribe if you're not. All those kind of things. Ding the bell. All that kind of stuff. And I will see you 
Let's see, it's finally sunlight and drying up. We're not supposed to have any rain the rest of this week, all the way through Sunday. So Sunday, we're going out to the to St. Bernard Acres and going to be doing some actual work. It's going to be in the 50s and sunny and should be dry or out there. Uh, I don't know if it'll have time to completely dry up, but it should be a lot drier than it has been for the last six weeks. Um, so we might be able to get a lot more work done. But we'll see how that goes. Until then, I can work in the house here. But again, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.